Hey friends, what's going on? So a quick video update here where I want to show you four new PDF board sheets that I have made and they're available to you right now today through my Patreon page. Off the top, I'm going to talk about each of these songs for a few minutes. I'll play it in the background to sort of show you what the chord sheets will teach you how to play. But let me know that lessons for these don't exist yet. I want to make them, but I want to hear from you as far as which you want to see first. So let me know in the comments and I will take that in mind when I am prioritizing future lessons. So first up, we're looking at Saskatchewan in 1881. This is a Coulter Wall song. Coulter Wall is one of my favorite new artists of the last couple years. He's a Canadian fellow from Saskatchewan. He has a couple albums out which are fantastic. He has a insanely recognizable awesome voice give him a listen lots of uh country western cowboy uh roping cattle roping songs really good stuff right now this song is one he does finger style i can't play it finger style like he does i've tried a few times maybe one day i'll get there but i thought you know he's been in my head i want to do this song some justice so what i did is i wrote up the chord sheet with just the chords of the song so that way you can strum it sing it, you're in the same key as him, and uh, that'll get you a lot of the way there. And if you want to do finger style, you can, you know, use this chord sheet as a guide. Just follow the chords and, you know, work out the, the progression or the finger style pattern you want to do, and you'll be in good shape. So that's Coulter Wall, Saskatchewan in 1881. Wanted to talk about that one. The second song I have here is Manhattan Island Serenade. So this is the chord sheet for that one. Now this song is originally by Leon Russell, recorded in 1972, but the version that I first learned was in this past year. It was a new cut of the song from Vincent Neil Emerson. Now he also is a young up-and-coming country star. I love his stuff. I heard him on the Hippies and Cowboys podcast. This song is great. This is a piano song. It's solo piano, and it's very much not virtuoso. It's like it's just kind of like you know, single bass note with two notes at a time, right? So I plan to do a piano lesson for this song as well as a guitar one. Um, now I just love the songwriting in this. It's paired with a very simple stripped-down piano. It's super fun to sing. I love the song. So check out Leon Russell's version, but I think. Vincent Neil Emerson's version from his upcoming album is superior in the sense that it's just, it's more cleanly recorded. You still capture the live, all in one take kind of thing. It's not like studio magic or anything like that. But I think it's just, um, it's one of those benefits of something recorded in 2020. You know, it's a, it's a cleaner sound. And, and the piano, I think, is comes off nicer to the ear in the Vincent Neil Emerson version. So check out his version. If nothing else, that's the one song I'd really want you to go listen to. Super cool song here. I'm excited to share that one with you, right? The next one is a Taylor Swift song. So I've been a Taylor Swift song uh, fan for the last 10 years or so. This song is called Betty. It's from her new album, Folklore, which dropped out of nowhere a few weeks ago. What I dig about, the whole album, number one, I really enjoy. And this song in particular, it reminds me of a lot of her older stuff, like Romeo and Juliet, kind of guitar-driven, um, high school, you know, love triangle stuff throughout the album. And But it's it's really well done songwriting. She's continuing to grow. I'm a big Taylor Swift fan, and this song is my favorite from the new album. So this one has a nice walk down in the key of C. I do want to record a lesson or a cover of this at some point. But check out this chord sheet. It's a lot of words in this song, but this gives you everything you need to know. So that's a good one as well. And then finally, this is one of the ones I'm the most excited about, is a song by Green Day. It's called Welcome to Paradise, right? So a couple weeks ago, this came into my head. I know this song well. It's been a favorite of mine since middle school, and I thought, you know, I want to learn this on guitar, but I don't want to play it in the Green Day power chord kind of way, just because, like, I don't have an electric guitar, and, you know, my favorite guitar heroes right now wouldn't play it like that. So I thought to myself, well, how would those guitar heroes play it? And I thought of Tyler Childers. I'm like, how would Tyler Childers play this song? So I decided right then, I'm going to learn Welcome to Paradise in the style of Tyler Childers. So that's what I did, and I put it together into, um, well, I have a lesson coming. I need to record it, but basically this chord sheet will give you what you need to know. So here's how I approached it. You know, I kind of took Tyler Childers, I took White House Road, which is very much similar to um, the Steve Earle song, Copperhead Road. You know, it's, it's drop D, lots of droning kind of style. So I, I have that going on here. I also use some of the licks from Feathered Indians, um, like inspired by that at least. And I kind of fused them together and just sort of um, wanted to get the rhythm and the feel to sound like how a modern, you know, country version in the style of Tyler Childress would sound. So that's what I'm going to do for this song, but I want to share this PDF with you. And um, if you can have, uh, you know, get some value from it in the meantime, that would be great. And if you want to hear the lesson for this one, let me know, and I'm going to put it together. I, again, I plan to do it for all these, but it, it's up to you to let me know which of these songs you want to hear first. So that PDF looks like this. It's a two-pager. I have the chords and stuff here. Then I have a bunch of tabs uh, for the main riff and then the, the sort of chorus riff and some of the chord voicings and the strumming and, and all that stuff. So 
Lots of good stuff coming out. Um, again, I wanted to get these PDFs available to you as soon as possible so that you can start getting value and I'll fill in the lessons later. I'm working on a bunch of other stuff. I just started learning Old Man by Neil Young. I've never learned that song before. Um, a bunch of you who have requested over the years and finally um, someone wrote in asking about it and it, it kind of just, you know, I figured it was time. I, I was due to learn a nice new beefy difficult yet attainable song and that's a really tough one getting that, uh, that intro riff going down but um, I have a couple lessons for that one I'm working on right now so that's coming in the next week or two as well and in general there's always a bunch of songs I want to get to next but just again to be honest it's like I can only learn one song at a time and there's always a bunch of songs always fighting for uh, my ear and even if I have plans to get one out often they're derailed by a new song coming along so Trying to stay disciplined, but you know, I only have so many hours uh, doing this as a very part-time project. So hopefully uh, you're appreciative of, of what you get. Um, I, I'm very appreciative of you and all the support y'all are giving me uh, through Patreon. It means the world. It enables me to keep going with this and uh, plowing straight ahead. So super excited, but I wanted to share this and uh, this is it. Yeah, so in the attachments on the Patreon post for this video, you'll find the four PDFs and videos for those Songs are coming. Lessons are coming. But that's going to be it for me, man. So I'll see you all around. Take care. Let me know what you're listening to or what you want to hear lessons for. I can't do everything, like I said, but hearing the request is always helpful because it lets me know sort of uh, where your head's at, where your ear's at. So it's going to be it for me. I'm going to head out now, get the PDFs, and look out for my new stuff. I'll see you all around. Bye-bye.